Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Pretty Lies and Alibis. I'm Gigi Fruit Loop. What you know? Did you know that there is a Lego bridge in Germany that you can walk across? Uh-uh, dude. <laughs> no. I would do it. I would do it. It's like big Legos, it looks like. It's in Wuppertal, and it's uh, it's known as a Lego bridge. It, there's a weird name for it, and I didn't even attempt it. Lego Brock. Uh, <laughs> it looks like it's made of candy, but... Yeah, no, nah, you're not going to get me on that. Come on. Mm, no, I still have scars on the bottom of my feet for stepping on Legos in the dark. <laughs> that is that could be a form of torture. It's actually made of concrete, but it looks like Legos. Oh, okay. Well, I might walk on it. I don't want <laughs> nothing that like snaps into place with uh, me up in the air. That would be bad. Uh, so we want to give a quick shout out to one of our sponsors, Two Cool T-shirt quilts. You can go to two cool t-shirt quilts.com slash pretty lies and alibis. Check them out. Get you something nice. What can they do, Fruit Loop? They can take your t-shirts and make them into a quilt that is too cool. That they can. Guys, if you have not been following the Anthony Tote trial, I just want to tell you, go back and follow this trial because today the defense rested out of the blue. I mean, I'm sorry, the state re rested out of the blue. The defense, like they had the rug pulled out from under them. I mean, they had no clue. Everybody was shocked. So finally, the defense comes on. They they want like till tomorrow. The judge is like, nope, we're going in 30 minutes. Get ready. They put him on the stand. It was a train wreck. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, uh, jury gets instructions tomorrow morning, closings. Then the jury gets it. It was a mess. Why in the world would you put him on there? I have no clue. I don't know if they just didn't have anything else <laughs> in, in his defense. It, it's um, it's an odd case, you know. According to him, they had the suicide pact. Uh, some people do think that they did have that, and he just chickened out. But it's insane. Uh, man, whew, he had multiple personalities on that stand, crying very soft-spoken with the, with the defense. And as soon as he got cross-examined, bam, hostile argumentative uh narcissistic it was something to watch so go check that out there's two episodes out i did one in the morning and then when it wrapped up did a second one go check it out man it is insane so we are going to keep going with these text messages this is the last episode this week right yep for last you episode for me yeah for me anyways okay so you're out until after you've recovered a bit from your surgery yeah. All yeah. right. So um, tomorrow I'll put out a new one about this case. I really think this is going to be record timing verdict. Maybe like they go back and say, yeah, we good. Five minutes later, wow. verdict. <laughs> we'll Jeez. see. All right. So we're going to do some more of these text messages today. And since the viewers will not uh, see you, hope your surgery goes well. Thank you. Um, thank you. Enjoy your pain meds, oh. I guess. Well, I don't even like it. I hate, I don't take anything. So yeah, what makes you feel, but yeah, we'll see how the pain level is. So makes me sick to my stomach, which I would just much rather hurt. Yeah, exactly. All right. So let's start these text messages. Fruitly, where do we leave off last night? So if you remember, uh, they were talking to Zilema. She was having some pain issues. They gave her a blessing. Her hand started to feel better. Um, then she was talking about her ex was in a an accident, a vehicle accident or something. And that's where we're picking up uh, from Lori on September 14th. Uh, thank you for the beautiful weather here today. I'm sure you were doing it as a prep for your trip. Remember, she was headed to Chile. Uh, it's 82 and sunny and gorgeous. I am. I don't want to be cold. Lori responds, I love you. Blank message here from Zilema to Lori. This is on September 14th. I love you. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. From Lori, we are, t we are at Bear World. And you'll remember that's in, we know they went there. Well, they um, have the picture of JJ on that little ride by himself, just kind of looking off in the distance. That picture makes me very sad. Yeah, because by now we know Charles is gone. Tylee's gone. Uh, 
she says we're at bear world it's such a beautiful day thanks to you uh, there must a have been blank, a picture a come picture. in or something yeah and it could be yep. the one you were just talking about yep and zulema said who's that handsome prince and she says i think he belongs to you how did i get so lucky you are a goddess you probably demanded it maybe Lori sends another blank so it's another image then she says this jumps to september 15th so excited to see you today we've been there two times to bless you they really don't want you to come here it's so important and zulema says thank you thank you and then the this kind of jumped to the 15th the next day zulema says i felt or no i'm Let's see. Uh, I felt totally attacked last night, and this morning my alarm didn't go off for the first time ever. Lori responds, we are just outside the tent. She again says, ready to pick you up. It's beautiful today. You did it. And then Zulema says, I don't see you. Lori says, coming around the corner. We had to go around. And then Lori sends a text from Chad. Please have Zulema send a message to me that she's in Rigby and wanted to see if I could come listen to her talk tonight about her trip to Chile. So he's asking, so he has proof, and this would be headed to Tammy. So there's proof. They're, they're setting up him being away is basically what that boils down to. Uh, Lori says he wants you to send him a text so he can come talk to us tonight. So... Zulema did know that stuff. Like she, she knew. Which I mean, is why she has immunity. Yeah. I, I mean, I, you know, it's, we all feel that there should have been more charges, but clearly they just didn't have what they needed to get a conviction. So, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. Yeah. Um, so, I still will always say some people are walking free that should not be free. Yeah. So Lori on September 17th says, just dropped off JJ on my way to pick you up for the temple now. Be there in five minutes. Okay, I'm ready. From Lori, I'm here out by the garage. Uh, then she says, come on out. Then she says, I love being with you in the temple today. You are so powerful. Can't wait till you are here all the time. The Lord will guide us. Zulema says, it was very powerful in the temple today. It was so much fun to be with all of you this weekend. Now I just have to wait until the Lord says it's time for me to go. She did not want to move. No. So three days later, on this stream of text, Lori responds, how are you? I feel like you may need some help. They can't get to me, so they get my kids, my grandkids too. Lori says, I'm trying to protect you all, missing you. And she says, thank you. We need it. I'm missing you all, too. And Lori says, girls on the run. So we are, we're out on the 20th here. Um, Zulema says, I love this picture. Lori responds, this is the 21st. FYI, if anybody asks about me or where I've moved, you can just say that I moved in with my brother in Queen Creek, especially those who seek my destruction. How are you today? This uh, is September 21st, 2019. I don't talk to anyone about you at all. Did you tell Jules that you moved? I'm going to meet with her when she gets back from China. I'm okay. I slept in today so I could get some rest. I needed it. I'm going to the temple and going to ask for protection and clarity. I was invaded with dark thoughts yesterday. So much better today. Thank you. And then, uh, wait, who is seeking your destruction? And she says, uh, lots of people, Serena and Christina in particular, my family and such. That makes sense. Have you checked on Serena? I've been avoiding her and not answering her as I used to before so that I create distance from her. I can only keep in touch with Jules. Lori says, me too. I haven't talked with anyone. I think that's best for you to stay hidden. I'm staying quiet as if nothing is happening. Lori responds, you are right. Are you doing good? Is the Lord saying anything yet? He gave me this today. S two Nephi 10-2, just preparing me. 
Uh, Lori responds, I love it. It's so true. We are all we are all here to do our missions and we will. You are a true goddess of light. We will conquer the darkness. Uh, she then responds on September 23rd. You are you are powerful, little girl. I love it. Now, this is uh, the now what's the day that JJ uh, was this, murdered? This is the day. This is the day. So the, I think Melanie Gibb and David Warwick were there the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, I think. They left the morning that, the the morning that JJ was murdered and buried, they left. If you remember, they asked Lori where he was and she gave the whole thing. He was climbing on the cabinets. Alex took him. Um, So then we jump to the 29th and Zulema says, uh, oh, oh, and I forgot to tell you that JTL told me that my ex-husband, the one that had the motorcycle accident, is still in the hospital. And the darks were trying to make him into a Z, which is a zombie. And my ex could see them whispering to each other. Thank heavens I was allowed to give him a blessing and protected him. The only light husband I had. Poor guy. So we're jumping in time here. Yep. So then this, Lori responds on October 4th. Um which is um well so october is when they start the conspiracy to take out tammy oh man so this is this is in the middle of all that so Lori says hey beauty girl just checking in in on you are we going to see you soon maybe you and i need to talk soon and do do some with i don't know what she's doing i don't know Maybe this conference weekend will be perfect. And Zulema says, hello, beautiful goddess. Yes, maybe we should. Jules and I did some amazing work the other day. I'm so excited for this conference. Mel G is coming over to watch it with me tomorrow. And we know that's Melanie Gibb. Yes. Lori responds, same day. So fun. Good. I'll call tomorrow after the first session. Will that be good? Yes, yes. We will be making empanadas for dinner. Yum. Lori says, hello, gorgeous. This is on October 8th. Um, what does your schedule look like today? I work until 7, but in a few, I'm driving to my next case, and it will take me at least 20 minutes to get there. Then she says, I tried calling you, but it went straight to voicemail. Sorry, I got lost. Uh, she says, sorry, my phone is having trouble. Just call me back on your way home. Okay. Okay. So we're jumping to the next day, uh, yep. October 9th. Yep, Lori sends, this looks like an address, uh, East Desert Brewing Place, Chandler, Air, Chandler, Arizona. Uh, she then says, this is the address for tonight, so excited to see you. So they must have been having some type of meeting. Then she sends another text to Zulema, are you still coming? able to come tonight? Yes, I just finished on my way. Lori responds, okay, perfect. Just text me when you're close and I'll come out since the kids are asleep. Okay. Then she says, almost there. Lori says, we are outside just hanging out. See you in a few. It was so great to see you last night. Are you girls going to Missouri today? This is uh, October 10th. Lori responds, yep, just got on the plane. Missing you. You are wonderful. I hope you come soon. Let me know when you can, and we will get you a ticket. Have fun there. I hope you girls have tons of fun. Love you. And then uh, Zulema texts, I'll be there soon. Lori responds on October 13th. Hey, pretty woman, are you busy tonight? I'm heading back to the airport, but we have some work to do that I may need your help with. I am. How was Missouri? Lori responds, it was fun and freezing. We learned a lot. Tonight is a good time to work. Call me when you have time. Sorry. Later this afternoon, I'll be home by 2.30 your time. Okay. Uh, Trying to find. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Are you ready for me to call you? When you're ready, just call me. I'm home. Then we jump from the 13th to the 17th, which is just a couple of days before Tammy Daybell's murder. Um, She says, hey, beautiful, how are you? I tried calling you on Monday, but it went straight to voicemail. Are you doing okay? Lori responds, I'm good. How are you? We need to talk soon and catch up. How's your schedule today? 
I have a break between five and six my time. Lori says, looks like you're a working girlfriend. Okay, so this uh, is the day before Tammy Daybell is murdered on uh, October the 18th. LOL, that's crazy stuff right there. I've been working on a winter that's going to be like no other. Burr. I've been calling you and JTL to come help me. Today I traveled to a temple somewhere. I don't know where it was. Miss you. Lori responds, you are amazing. Yeah. The East Coast, it's crazy cold. I call you every day to work. We have so many projects now. It's hard to keep them straight. That's so exciting. I had a crazy attack today on my way into the temple and my head started hurting right on my third eye. I sat down and I just knew I had to cast out. Then the pain went away immediately and I started to see visions right away. Crazy. They're just out to get us. And she puts the little female symbol there. Uh, Lori responds, yes, they are. They don't, they don't sleep or rest. Just spend all day thinking about all the ways they can mess with us, unfortunately. And, yeah. And then this jumps to October 18th uh, from Lori. What did they ask you to work on today? A cold winter on the East Coast. I worked on earthquakes a couple of days ago, and then I saw all the movement after. Like, I want to, who asked you to work on this? Look, don't be sending cold weather to the East Coast, Zulema. Uh -oh. Well, I'm okay with it, actually. Cause I'm yeah, like, no, nah, I'm not. So stop all that. And um, then, let's see. Still on the 18th. So this looks like um, Lori is somewhere. <laughs> and it looks like maybe Hawaii. Yeah. Yep, she's in Hawaii at this point. Um, so I'm not real sure. Because remember, she texted her friend Audrey from Hawaii and said, not sure how long we will be here until our work is done. So that was when... Lori Audrey or April? Audrey or April? Are you talking about April Raymond? No. It, oh. uh, it's, yeah, it was it was another girl, I think. That's but right. Sorry. Lori and Melanie Pulowski went to Hawaii, remember? That's right. Okay, sorry. Um, so it could be April. April, uh, I don't know what's going on. Look, we got all messed up. So again, this is what... Um, a day before Tammy dies. Yep. Uh, you are powerful. Then the outgoing, uh, there's nothing there. So. Yep. Lori says, how's Jules? I feel like we all need to get together soon. I agree. The last time we worked together, it was powerful. Jules is getting stronger fast. She's amazing. Kind of like you. Then we're still on the 18th. Uh, I was also asked to bless and protect the president this week. That was interesting. Lori responds, that is super interesting. Then this is the 19th, the day Tammy Daybell is murdered. Oh my goodness. Did you know what was, the, did you know that was going to happen? How are you? How are you feeling? Maybe it was you that I saw at the temple getting ready to get married just yesterday. And the girl was tiny like you. Lori responds, funny, I love you. Ascended couples, Jules saw them coming soon. Nothing more powerful, she said. I love you too. This is they, This is just feeding a monster. It really is. I mean, they are just literally feeding off each other. Yeah. Nothing but, like, oh my gosh, this poor woman was young and had kids and grandkids and just died in her sleep. Oh, no, maybe I saw you getting married. I mean, maybe she yeah. did because they did. <laughs> did you know that was going to happen? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> right, right, yep. Um, so Lori responds, that's good news. Um, let me know when you can chat. So we're jumping from October 19th to the 21st. Jules is being attacked. Her foot, ankle, and part of her knee. She can barely walk. She's being attacked by arthritis. Um, sounds like to me. Can you help me work on her and healing her? Lori says, yes, I'll work on her now, her now. I think they broke her foot. She doesn't remember hurting it from one moment to the next. She was hurting. Then Zulema says, thank you. Uh, Lori responds, they broke me too before. I'll send Asnath to comb or to come to heal her too. It works. They can just break your bones, but not kill you. Uh, Lori says, I worked on her too. She should be a little better. How are you? LOL. That sounds so horrible. 
I'm good. I've been attacked as usual, but I'm fighting back with the little female symbol. But I'm coming to see you guys on the 7th of November. I already have my ticket. I'm so excited to see you. Then uh, we jump two days to October 23rd. Uh, my Relief Society, the president is coming to see me tonight. She didn't say why, and I don't know why she's coming. I'm not really liking this. Do you see what her intent is? Then Zulema says, I'll be at the temple in the morning. I hope you can meet me there. Lori says, hey, do you want to go to Melanie's and do a podcast with us in the morning instead of the temple? I hope you can. She will pick me up from the airport and we will be at her house by 8 a.m. on the plane now. Yes, I can do that. Perfect. See you there on our way now. Just got to Mel's. Okay, still getting ready. Uh, jumps to October 28th. Hey, it's freezing up here. I need you to make it warm, sweet girl. How are you? I will try. I'm good. Super excited to come see you guys. I'll have to bring warmer weather with me or I'll freak out with the cold. Okay. It's Idaho. <laughs> right. <laughs> what do they expect? I mean, it's October in Idaho. Prelude, can I just say, I would appreciate a friend that could send warmth when it's cold here. Just get on that, right? Yeah, but I'll, I Figure like it cold, out. so I'm good. Uh, it's 20 degrees. It's what Lori responds. It's 20 degrees. We're freezing our butts off. We need some fire. Okay, I'll send some. Lori responds, hi, beautiful. Alex and Mel may have to come there tomorrow and may need a place to stay. They could always stay at a hotel, but your house might be more protected. So, oh. Uh, yeah. This is when Melanie moves. Melanie Pulaski. Yes. Yeah, that's right, because it was Halloween when the private investigator took the pictures of her and Alex loading up the U-Haul. That's yep. right. Yep. So, Zulema says, my room is available. I'll sleep with Kara. Uh, Lori says, you are so great. We love you. And then, uh, this is the 31st. Are they here? Lori says, they fly in tonight at 5 p.m., it's going to be a little crazy at my house, but we will manage. LOL. Halloween night with my grandkids. I can't wait to see them. Lori responds, oh yeah, forgot it was Halloween. Hello, beautiful. Can you talk for a few? This is November the 2nd. So it's about to start hitting the fan. With okay. This is what I'm going to say. What? She forgot it was Halloween. If you have kids, right, you're not going to forget it's Halloween. Right. I well, mean, yeah. Yeah. So on, let's see. Um, oh, hello, the beautiful. Can you talk for a few? And then uh, this jumps to November the 4th. What's going on with Serena? Can you guys see what's up? She's trying to see if she can meet me at the temple or for lunch. Lori responds, we worked on healing her two days ago and shielding her from the darkness in her house. She was still at 65% dark, but we did feel hopeful like she could come back in the future. What do you think? I always hope she will. I can always meet her at the temple for a little bit. I'll be straight with her, though. I was thinking about telling her about her desperate seeking of knowledge is not serving her and brings darkness to her. Look, this girl is lucky she's alive. Yeah, you ain't kidding. She did. Yeah, I, I mean, because you. in that police interview, she said she wondered if she was next with mm -hmm. that whole put the plastic on the bed before I give you a rub down thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if she'd have become a liability, at some point she probably would have. Yeah, and even this Serena girl. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's dark. Like, uh, So Lori says uh, probably a good idea. Then she tells her, you're amazing. I'm so excited. We will be real sisters in this life. Um, this is November the 5th. Please put extra protection on me to go around her. Then she says, guess what? Who is that? What's that name? Portius. Portius went with me to the temple today and showed himself to Serena, letting her know he was protecting me. Isn't that amazing? Okay, remember, they're in Hawaii, right? Um, November. At this point, are they in Hawaii? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is when they marry. November. Remember? 
I think that's right. November 5th uh, was when uh, they married. Um, so it's just, again, it shows you their... November 5th. Yeah. Like it shows you... What? Yeah. Like, um, so Lori says, how did it go with Serena? And Zulema says, I shielded myself. It was okay. She's struggling, still studying, even though she told me she was, but wasn't. Her husband is being nice. So do you want to stop here? Yeah, I think that's a good place. Okay. So it's, yeah, we still have a ways to go. I, I said last night, I think we'll get through these text messages before Fruit Loop surgery. Wrong. <laughs> so we will pick these up when Fruit Loop feels better enough to join back in in the meantime i'm gonna do the jody arias episode next week um just some things that i've been working on to fill the gaps i thought we'd be doing this tote trial i think it's going to be over tomorrow so um trying to figure out some fun stuff to talk about and um yeah so we hope you do well fruit loop keep us updated i'll keep the listeners updated yeah and uh yeah so it's a good thing you'll feel better once you get over this hump and Oh, yeah. You know, at some point when you've suffered long enough, it's surgery is not as bad as, as you know, but you got a long road ahead. Yep. So anyways, all right, guys, we will see you soon. Hope you have a good evening. I'll be on tomorrow with updates with the uh, Anthony Tote trial. And if anything comes up, I'll be on about Lori Tuesday, her arraignment. So we got that coming. All right. Have a good one, guys.